chapter 3 not paid page number 25 and this lecture is for class 7 and 8 so in our today's lecture we are going to learn how to open a not paid and how to type a text inside the not not paid and how to save the text inside the not paid so first let us try to learn how to open a not paid so right now i'm using a windows 8 and i'm going to show you how to open a notepad in windows 8 so the first step the first method to open a notepad is that you see this pointer so we this pointer i will drag to the rightmost corner then after i drag it i'll see this search icon on this search icon i'll click on and then the search bar appears so inside this search bar there is a white portion. I will type the spelling of Notepad. So as soon as I finish typing the Notepad spelling, I will see the icon appears. The Notepad icon appears. So I'll click on the Notepad icon. So now the Notepad appears. So now the second way is that it is a quicker way. So in order to do that the second method is by pressing a windows key and r key from our keyboard so i'll press the windows key and r key together so as soon as i press new dialog box appears so this dialog box we call it as run dialog box so inside this one i see open word and in front of this one i see a search field inside it so inside the search field i have to type the spelling of notepad and then press click on ok so now the notepad appears so now we see that the notepad is so small and i want to make it larger so so for that i will click on the windows maximize and so now the notepad has become larger now now i'm going to tell you this uppermost we call it as a tux bar and second one we call it as menu bar and this blinking line is a cursor and this white portion we see this white white portion we call it as the document area so now i'm going to enter a few text So after I finish typing the text, now it is necessary that after we finish typing, we have to save the file. So in order to save this text inside the notepad, I'll, I'll go to the menu bar to the file menu and I will drag my mouse to save and I'll click on this, save, then a new windows appear. So in this one, First of all, I'm going to choose the location that there, there is where I want to save the file. So for me, I will select desktop and then after selecting the location where to save the file, I'll come to here file name. Now I'm going to, in order to search the file, we have to give a name. So I will go to search the file to give the file a name. I'll clear it out. Then I will give the find them for me I'll name, name it as my first my first and then I'll save it okay now I have saved the file now I want to close this notepad so in order to do do that simply we will go to the file menu and then we'll click on this asset okay okay now after we exit it that file before i've saved it see we see here here is the the text file i've saved on my 
desktop now I want to open the notepad again and then I want to open a file existing file which I saved before so in order to do that I'll go to the file I will drag down my mouse my mouse to open click on the open and then I will drag down the scroll bar then here it is my first now after you have to click it then the name of the file appears here then I'll open it now it appears so now in order to close again go to the file then exit